All right, uh, this was less than four six geometry. We're going to start with a little algebra review. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to need to recall how we solve systems of linear equations. And there's a couple methods we can use. There's some examples here, but I'll go through a couple examples down here. So we want to solve each system of equations. And uh, for number one, we're going to do it this way. Just look bigger, and we're going to, I'm going to show you two methods for solving systems and linear equations. All right. So in this method, I am going to just set up an equation. Since y is equal to x minus 4 and y is equal to 3x plus 2, I'm going to use the transitive property and just say x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 2. And I'm going to subtract x from both sides, and I get negative 4 is equal to 2x plus 2. Then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, and I get negative 6 is equal to 2x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I get negative 3 is equal to x. So I, now I know what x is equal to. I can just use one of the two equations which are solved for y to figure out what y is equal to. And so since y is equal to 3x, 3 times x plus 2, I'll just substitute negative 3 for x, and I get negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. So x is negative 3, y is negative 7. That's my solution. I'm going to write it as an ordered pair. And then I'm just going to check it, make sure it's true. So I know that y has to equal x minus 4. And y I found, I think, is negative 7. So that has to equal negative 3, substituting negative 3 for x minus 4. And that is true. And then the other equation, y is equal to 3x plus 2. I'll substitute negative 7 for y, substitute negative 3 for x, and check and see if that's true. So that's negative 9 plus 2, and that's also true. So that's cool. Uh, so I found the solution on that one. All right, the second equation here, system of equations. I'm going to solve a little bit different way. I'm going to use what is known as the addition method, um, but I need a little bit of multiplication property to qual quality to get it so that I can get the results that I want. And uh, here's what I'm actually using. Let's say I have A is equal to B and C is equal to D. If that's true, then adding C to both sides, I get A plus B is equal to B plus C. Just using the addition property of equality. And since C is equal to D, I can substitute D for my C here, and I get, and I can substitute, well, then I get A plus C is equal to B plus D. And that's the idea that I'm going to use. So I can just add those together and add those together, A plus C is equal to B plus D. Now, so on this problem up here, uh, I don't want to immediately add this plus this. What I'd like is for this to be a negative 2y. Then when I add it, I would eliminate the y variable, and I could easily solve for x. So to get that, I'm going to multiply this first equation using the multiplication property of equality by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. So I get 4x minus 2y. 16. Now I can add the 2 together. x plus 4x is 5x. 2 plus negative 2y is 0y, which is 0. And 9 plus 16 is 25. 
And now I'm going to just divide both sides by 5, and I get x equals 5. Well, now that I know that x is 5, I can substitute that for x and find y. I'm going to substitute 5 for x. Subtracting 5 from both sides, I get 2y equals 4. And dividing both sides by 2, I get y equals 2. So my solution is x is 5, y is 2. Now I'm just going to check that make sure it's true. From my original equation, we have 2x minus y is equal to 8. If I substitute 5 for x and 2 for y, I hope it's true. And 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2 is 8, that's true. Alright, and the other equation, x plus 2y equals 9. Substituting 5 for x and 2 for y, we get 5 plus 4 equals 9, and that's all. So, two ways to solve equations, uh, substitution and also the addition method.